everybody how's it going welcome back to Trevor great day today is a, such an awesome day because um well we got the keys we just took delivery of a, a brand new McLaren 720s here it is right in front of us guys this red looks absolutely amazing I'm gonna show on the screen right now the name of the red but anyways though seeing it in person it's like a very deep like burgundy red and it's completely metallic I am absolutely in love with this car right here this isn't just any 720 s again this is the spider so that being said the entire top is all the way off and folded away right here in the back it's insane that they can actually fit it back here because this car is mid-engine you know and walking all the way back having the rear a spoiler up just completely finishes off the vibe of the car I really really do love how you can adjust this rear spoiler whenever you're driving the car so if I'm going to a half mile event or if you buy this car and you want to test out the ultimate straight line acceleration possible you would obviously lower that rear spoiler all the way down and the reason why is because a major benefit of having active aerodynamics is that if the rear spoiler was fixed you'd be getting yes all the improved downforce having to push the back end down but you would be getting more drag and as many of you know the more drag you have it really does uh, diminish your straight line acceleration nonetheless so major shout out to McLaren Automotive that's why it says many manufacturer back here because they delivered this car to us for it to test out and I'm just so excited about it again first time really driving the 720s on the open road before usually when I have driven this car or been in it it's been at the racetrack the last time I was actually in a 720s it was actually uh, my friend's car and we tested out variable drift control at the drift pad at Willow Springs Raceway and it was so much fun I will be honest with all of you um, I personally feel feel like having all traction turned off in this bad boy right, right behind me it's easier to drift that way <laughs> but obviously it, it would be right because I think to max out the variable drift control settings it's essentially turning off all traction control so the best thing about it is that you can adjust you know in the moment as you learn how, how to slide this car around if you want more slip angle you can increase that if you want less you can adjust all in the moment and it works perfectly with the onboard computer systems of this insane supercar right behind me. It is getting a bit dirty as you can see because we've been battling it out with the rain all around us. Finally, uh, we found a gap in the clouds, but one good thing about this car is that since we are in the rain, we do have the normal P0 tires. What am I saying normal? These are custom Pirellis that are perfectly made for the 720S, they're the P0 Corsas, and the grip you have with them, I cannot wait to test out. We do have the carbon ceramic brakes I believe that these are the same rotors that my McLaren 600 LT had when I bought it love the design of the 720s series because you have these open inlets up front right and then you've got headlights turn indicators but then behind that you do have a, a radiator for for the front intakes and then down below you have brake ducts etc the entire car if you look at it it's like the teardrop effect almost if you look at this car the silhouette is beautiful you don't have massive intakes on the outside everything is perfectly blended in so the, the way the entire bodywork is contoured, it's going grabbing the air and bringing it straight between the outside of your door and the cabin all the way to the engine in the back. Plus you do have vents right behind the front tires, uh, front wheels to, to relieve all of that high pressure air. And then that'll travel down the side of the vehicle. Down below you have another brake duct. As you can see, the entire car is just inspired by high tech geeks if you ask me. And that is exactly why it speaks to me so much. Look how beautifully the body lines flow all throughout the vehicle. I'm just a major fan of these floating like buttresses on either side the entire vehicle all you can see are air channels meant to grab that air cool off the engine for the racetrack then also give it give you the most aerodynamic design possible moving all the way down you can see the DCT transmission oh you can tiny bit of rock build up down there which that'll just fly out once we drive the car but um look how wide those tires are at back so 305s out back and then a two 245s up front you can't quite see the engine from back here but if you look all the way up here you can see the four liter twin turbo v8 right there in the middle look at all the details with the carbon fiber absolutely everywhere just hidden away i mean the entire build quality on this car just still blows my mind 
to this day. Having the spider, you get to actually feel all the incredible sensations coming from the rear of the exhaust pipes. So altogether, a curb weight of around 3,200 pounds. That's made possible by the carbon fiber um, chassis structure, which you don't you don't really see that in many uh, competitor exotics. You can feel that extra rigidity. 710 horsepower, the seven-speed DCT. It's got the entire formula for the ultimate supercar for, for the price point. I am so excited to hop inside and test it out. Let's do this. Plus, having the Spider, it's just going to be such a visceral driving experience. I cannot wait to show you this actual car right here has an MSRP of $377,000. It is properly optioned out with all the Alcantara and red stitching everywhere. You can see the carbon tub everywhere from the outside of the car. It says right here, 45 days left of battery charge. That's completely normal for these kind of cars. You wanna make sure you don't make the battery run out. But look at how spectacular this interior is. I mean, the Alcantara, the red stitching, the super soft and nice high quality leather. Obviously a better feel this way because it does cost a lot of money, right? It does make itself very apparent that you are buying a special, special thing. These seats, they do hold you in very well, it feels like. They don't give you as much control for the corners, that being you will move around more with these um, comfort seats. That's what they're advertised as. It's definitely not a deal breaker. And on a cold day like this, you you can put on the heated seat um, feature, which is just spectacular. Go ahead and turn on our active dynamic settings for sport for now. Up, oh, the display is changing, that is so cool. And you can control that display right here. Here's your lock button, and then here's your frunk. And then to the left, we do have the upgraded sound system, that being the Bowers and Wilkins. I love seeing the carbon fiber from the tub right here in front of our view. What's cool about it is that it's got like a matte finish. Whoa, look at that feature. So for the spiders, it says 720S when you take off the top. Wow. Check this out. This right here is the electrochromatic roof and hitting this button right now is going to change colors. Watch. Now it's clear. Look at that. What? It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then hitting this button again. Watch. It's blue. The entire tone changed. For a bright day, you can adjust this whenever you want. And then the entire interior of the car will get dim or bright. This option itself is about 9,400 bucks, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll put it over the screen. One amazing thing about this feature is that running how it works, it's actually using electricity that fuses with the glass to change the appearance. You can see how the back window goes up and down, watch. So pushing this button down, it controls the back window. So when the top is up, you can still get all the amazing sounds from the exhaust. Then if it's raining and you want it to be quiet in here, just roll this back window up and you're all good. Now these are features only for the spider. Here you have your launch control button, hit this button and then it'll say um, boost building, put your foot on the brake, foot on the gas, it'll build the boost, and it'll tell you when the boost is ready and then you'll launch with essentially a full boost, which is just insane. And moving up here, we can go to the main settings and put on a variable drift control. Variable drift control, hit this button, hit ESC dynamic, put it into a uh, drive and then hit activate. Now we can adjust our, our angle of attack. So this is sport mode, we're in sport mode right now. We can create our own setting for the slip angle that it'll hold, so we can um, slide this car around very easily. If we go into track mode, it'll change and allow us to use the track setting. So we can save independent settings and on one click, click of a button, go into variable drift control, and then we're all set. That is so awesome. If we're learning out how to slide this car around, Lower the setting to the lowest setting. It'll give you a tiny bit of a slip angle, but then if you're a pro, you can max it out and it'd be essentially like all traction turned off, I'm guessing. For my test drifting this car, it was so much fun. Though if you want to go all out again, just turn everything off and it'll do the same essential thing as maxing this out. What car has that? It's just full of technology. You know what? Let's take it out for a spin and see how it drives. Here we are testing out the 720S. Now it might be raining soon. Just testing out the car right now. Honestly, it feels so fun having this top down. Let's do a quick acceleration, shall we? Uh, down, down shifting. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that acceleration is insane! And the rear wing just went up and down. just soaks up all the bumps. Wow, it pops just like my 600 LT! The way it can corner in these conditions is unbelievable. Obviously, I'm not going to go anywhere near the limit of the car. We're on the street. I, I don't like doing that. There's a place to go. There's a place in time to go 10 tenths on the racetrack. But just to spiritedly drive, have fun with this vehicle. I didn't feel sketched. I didn't feel worried. The amount of grip this car has. Even my camera moved around just now. I hope it's okay. <laughs> the G-forces are, are just insane. Rolling at the back window, because you can do that in this car. I, I am in love with the 720S. I am in love. It's got so much grip. People are telling me the 720S is uh, sketchy, or it's too much of one thing. But I could see myself buying this car and going to the racetrack with it, putting on our compounds, and I think it'll just handle beautifully, beautifully, because it feels beautiful on the street. Having the wind fly over my, my head, or my hair on the sides, this is an experience unlike anything else. This is so fun. How does it do it? Okay, windows got a little bit, because it's getting windy in here. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. The acceleration is so unreal and the way I can balance my, my pedal inputs to the vehicle is like a precision instrument. I mean, the, the brake pedal is nicely tuned so I need to put pressure on it to slow down. That allows me to be able to finely tune my, my speed loss uh, for each corner. There's no uh, turbo lag. I heard comments online about that. It doesn't feel like that at all. You want a car like this, a car that's light, agile, and with all this power, it doesn't get, it's not too much for the chassis. The car can handle it. Oh my gosh, and the way the entire suspension can, can take hold of any ground condition and not let go. How, did, how does it do that? And the roof's back on, and let's um, go ahead and release the um, electrochromatic roof, and now we can see straight through it. Got the heated seat on. It's raining out now outside and we're all set. We, we can tackle anything, anything the world throws us because it's made, it's designed for everything. The ground
not as slick. However, in the current 720S that I'm in, it comes with their performance core size. So you can drive it in these conditions all day long, be perfectly fine. Let's try to get a gap and then just uh, feel it out. See how much grip we actually have in this normal day that you'll own a supercar like this. For that, let's lower the back window just a tiny bit. I don't want rain coming inside, but I do want to hear the exhaust. visceral even not going fast it's just so exciting to drive i can hear the turbos um the whiplashes when i let, let off on throttle the pops and every upshift and downshift like this so when i went to racing school and got my racing license back in the day i actually had to do some races in the rain and uh this is bringing back a ton of amazing memories i gotta say and this, is an, this is a supercar that i could actually see myself tracking on a rainy day. This is a McLaren that you can use every day, but it's got almost like hypercar performance in a supercar price tag. The entire car comes together as a package. Whoa, look at that. There's an actual rainbow over there. Check that out. It's such a scenic drive. And here we are back where we left off this morning. Anyways though guys, so here's my final um, takeaway from driving the 720S. This right here is the best all around supercar I think money can buy, in all honesty, because it can do everything well. It just accelerates so hard, it doesn't ever let up, and it just keeps going, going, and going. Please let me know guys, what do you think in the comment section down below? Should we try to get a 720S or a 765 LT? Since we track more, maybe the LT, but the Spider though in California is perfect. Take the top down whenever you want. It's just, it makes the experience so engaging. It's adrenaline pumping and I can't get enough of it. If you're getting one of these cars, you are going to love it. If you're in the market and you wanna know which car to get, this car you can safely drive somewhere. It's got front end left, it's got 360 degree cameras. All the technology you want in a super well and high engineered vehicle. When you get inside this car, it's all about living in the moment. Anyways, thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button to help me out. Also subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Oh, my God.